Hey everybody, what's going on? It is Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to play through a few rounds of Race for the Galaxy. If you want to see our full review, you can click the link in the video description. Otherwise, stick around here, and we'll get playing. Okay, so here is a game of Race for the Galaxy, all set up for three players. So in a three-player game, you're going to give each player a home starting world, which I've done. There's a way to do it. I just grabbed a couple. Uh, you're going to give each player a set of seven cards. There are some extra ones if you're playing with two player, you can leave those out. Each player will get six cards from the deck and keep four. I've just randomly given each player four so we can get started. And then you're going to set up 10 or 12 victory point tokens per player. So 36 that I have set up right here, um, which is kind of the in-game timer. Okay, so the way this game works is you're going to be taking actions to... Um, be able to build different cards in front of you, um, get victory points, get new cards in your hand, all that kind of thing. And basically if someone someone's gonna pick the action out of this, this deck here, so for example, say I want to, um, I wanna build some cards, or I want to, yeah, I wanna settle. Okay, so I play this card, I'll play it face down, no one knows. I get to take this action 100% for sure. Everyone else will then also get to take this action, but because I played the card, I get a little bit of a bonus, okay? So if someone plays a card, everyone gets to do that action. Whoever plays the card gets a little bit of a bonus. Think San Juan, if you've ever played that game, similar vibe, okay? So game will end when this is over or someone has built 12 cards, counting this one, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna play as the green player, but let's look and see what blue wants to do here. I'm not gonna show you all their stuff, see what they wanna do. And I think they're going to go ahead and play this action. They want to do this, so I'll put that right there so we know. And then yellow, I'm going to look at their cards. Okay. Whoops. Dropped them. They are going to do this action. Put that right there. And then me, what do I want to do? All right, so here are the cards that are in my hand. I have a planet of five, which will produce, every time I produce a green, I'll produce a green and draw two cards. Um, produce a green. No, every time I produce a green, I'll draw two cards. This one will produce a green. This one gives me a special ability. I may discard up to two cards to gain a point. These victory points may not be doubled. That's pretty cool. And then this one will give me some military power, which... You know, I may kind of want to lean into that because I have military, so I think I'll try that. So I think I'm going to play Settle, because a Settle will let me build, play Circle cards, Planet cards. Develop will let me play Diamond cards, and I want to play a Circle, so I need to play Settle. So I'll get in here. I'm going to grab my Settle card, which is right here, and I'll play it. Okay. Then, once everybody's picked, we're going to reveal. So we have Settle. We have Explore. And we have develop. So let's put those in order. So these are all the actions that everyone can do. Okay, then whoever played the card gets the bonus. So we'll start with explore, it goes in phases. So yellow played it, they get to draw three cards and keep two. Everyone else will draw two cards and keep one. Okay, so they'll draw three cards, keep two, right? Yes, two, draw three, keep two, yep. So they're gonna keep this one. Once they discarded, we'll go face down. I will draw three, keep one. Right? Yeah. I get to draw three, keep one. They would actually get to draw four and keep two. That's fine. Uh, I'll keep this one. I'm going to keep this one, another military planet. And then this player will draw three, keep one. So two. Three, draw two, I think it's draw two, keep one. I'm so bad, yeah, draw, oh, it's draw two, keep one. Sorry, my bad. Draw two, keep one. Um, and they're gonna keep this one, okay. I always forget, the iconography always throws me off. Okay, so that was that, we all explored. So yellow can take their card back. Then we're gonna to go to blue, we're all gonna develop. Blue played it, which is this player. So they get to develop at one card cost less. Okay, now, how developing works is, to build a card, you have to pay cards 
to do the other action to to be able to build okay so i think what i want to do is i'm going to develop play this card cost me four it's worth two points but because i get the discount i only have to pay three cards and i will discard these three cards to the discard pile and now i have built this this card so now I get a special power. I get to draw a card if in an extra card in an explore. Uh, if I trade green, I get a point. If I produce yellow, I get to draw a card. Okay. Uh, okay, done. So then develop for this player if they want to do it. They have to pay full price. And they do not have enough cards to develop. They have to pay six. They can't do any of that. And then me, can I develop? I can develop. Maybe I should. Maybe I will. I will develop. So I'm going to pay develop this. I'll pay two cards. I'll get rid of these two. I'll get rid of these two cards here. It's two cards. And then I'm done. So I built that. Now I have a special power in phase five. So everybody's developed. That was Blue's card. Okay, now it's settle. Again, I can draw a card after placing a world this phase. So I get to draw a card after I settle. Everybody else just gets to settle. So I want to settle this one. Now this is a military planet. It doesn't cost cards, but you have to have military, which I do, of the level it's at or higher. I have two military, so I can settle here. And because I settled, I get to draw a card because I played that card. Now everyone else can settle if they want to. This player needs three cards, they can't settle. This player can settle, and I think they're gonna. And they're gonna do, they're gonna settle this. Um, oh, sorry, and when th this is a starting planet, when these come in, they get a good, it's a halo planet, I forget the actual name of it, but they get a good one there built. So they're gonna go ahead and actually build another one. Play this one, which is a three custom three cards. They're going to get rid of these, and that comes in with a good. And now they have military for settling. All right, and that is the settling. So we are done, and that's the end of round one. Then we're going to do all that again. So I'll probably play through one more round so we can see some of the other actions. All right, so blue wants to. They can't produce. Can't develop. They're gonna actually explore. There, so that, uh, no one's gonna know that, but they're gonna play that. Actually, not not that one. Um, they need more cards. So let's do this one. Okay. I want to. I don't have any cards either. I kind of want to explore, but I'll hope somebody else does that. I would like to get something. A planet that I can actually get goods on so I can do that but I need cards so I'm actually going to explore as well I mean I don't know what they're doing but I'm going to explore okay and then the other player has some goods they have no way to get rid of those goods so I want to Okay, so we're going to do this. Find the card. Okay. So everybody selected their actions. Now we're going to reveal. So we have a develop and explore and an explore. Okay. So Two explorers actions so everybody can draw um well three cards two cards keep one whoever played it can draw three cards keep two okay so blue and yellow blue and green can draw three so this will be for blue they'll keep two they're gonna keep these two discard this one and then green will draw three keep two uh, I want these two and then yellow will draw to keep one 
and they're going to try to get this one. Okay, there we go. All right, so we did that. So blue did that, green did that. Then we're going to settle. So yellow, if they settle, they get to draw a card. And they are going to settle. They're going to play this one. They need two military, so they have one. And then a discount, or an extra military if it's brown, which it is. So they have that. They get to draw a card. And now I can settle. I want to settle. I don't have enough cards, but that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and settle. Let's move this down. Settle this. It cost me one card, and I will pay this card. Doesn't matter what card I pay, I just have to pay a card. And then blue can settle if they have anything they can settle. They have military, they have one military. Nope, they can't settle, they don't have enough cards. Okay, it's so done. Now we've done all that and done. Okay, so now I think I'm we can play through another one because now I can show you some things I believe. Uh, maybe, maybe not yet. Okay, we'll do one more anyway, see what happens. Okay, so what we got? Uh, okay, so they're going to play this one. I really want to produce some goods because I can produce a blue good and that's it. But then I'll be able to sell that bad boy. Yeah, let's try it. We'll try to produce. So I'm going to go ahead and play produce. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So we'll do that. It's not going to be as useful as I had hoped. Uh, And they are going to, let's do explore. Okay, there we go, done. All right, so we're gonna flip. We have an explore, we have a produce, and we have a develop. So it will go this way. Explore will go first. So yellow gets to draw seven cards and keep one. Everybody else gets to draw two and keep one. Let's see what they're gonna keep. They would like... How many military? I have two military already. I'm gonna keep this one. Discard the rest. Whoops, that one doesn't go over there. Uh, okay. And then everybody else gets to draw two, keep one. So these are mine. I'll keep this one, a little special power planet, just because it's cheap and easy to build. Blue will build, we'll keep this. All right. So that was explore. Now we're going to go on to develop. So blue can pay one card less. So let's start with blue. And they're going to pay this one. It's going to cost them zero. Now during phase two, draw one card after placing a development does not apply to this card. All right, so next time I develop, I can draw a card. Uh, and then this player, me, what do I want to do? Can I develop? I can develop. I will go ahead and I'm going to keep working on my military. So I'm going to play this card for two. Discard these two cards. And now I have extra military, so I have four, five military. That's pretty strong. That is pretty strong. And then yellow, can they develop? They cannot. They only have a six, so they will not develop. Then we're going to go to produce. Now production is producing any of your cards that allow you to produce. Okay? So this player does not have any cards that produce. They have a producing power. If they produce yellow, they can do that. They can't produce. I can produce a blue, so when that happens, you take a card, you tuck it, either on the top or the bottom, whatever. I'm just going to tuck it on the top here. And then any other powers that you have in produce. I also, um, who played I played this card, so if I had any windfall planets, which are the halos, I could produce one good on those. I don't have any. This player can produce as well. They will produce right here a brown good. All right, there we go. And that is it. 
Okay, and that's how the game's gonna keep going until you build cards or do other things. The only thing I didn't really show you is consuming. Um, consuming is tricky because you have to have player powers that allow you to do that. This card player is the only, well, this player can, but they don't have any goods. But say, for example, this player had this card. They would be able to, during trading or consumption, get rid of a blue, green, brown, or yellow good to get a point. I have a blue good. I could sell that good for a point. I take the point, and I would have it here. Uh, you can also, trading, there's a production that's trading. Before you take your actual production, you can sell any of the goods. Like this player has three browns. They can get rid of a brown good for, I forget how much money it is, um, three three cards. They draw three cards. It's a quick way to get goods. Then the good goes away, all that. Um, and that's kind of how production works. I think I showed you everything else. Uh, let me make sure. Settle, consume. Uh, there's also a consume where you can, instead of trading, you can just consume to get double victory points. So like if I played this card and I ate, I consumed my blue card, instead of, uh, well, I guess I would just draw a card, but I wouldn't get any points. If it's something that gives you points, like if I had two goods, well, that one doesn't double either. But some of these you can sell and get points. Like for over here, I could sell a card and get a point and draw a card. I would get two points and draw a card. Or sell a good to get a point, I would sell it and get two points if you play this card. Um, I think that's everything. I showed you both the explorers that developed. So that's how the game's gonna keep progressing until um, either 12 cards are built or that pile runs out. It's probably gonna be the cards. Uh, and then you're going to count up your score. You're going to count these points, um, any of the points that are on your cards here. So I have those. And then some of the six, let me see if I had one of those. I thought I had one. Somebody had one. There are some six development cards. I know I saw one. They're going to score points based on what they do here. So this will be two points per six cost development, and then one point for every other development. So if you had this card, you wanna build a bunch of developments because you're gonna score points for it. And it gives you incentive to build developments at negative two, okay? So there you go. So that's how you're gonna score. Then whoever has the most points after all that is said and done is the winner. And I forgot to mention, each player will get one of these huge player aids. Gives you all the icons, which is helpful because there's a ton of icons. Um, some extra effect toys that you need to know. And then kind of what you do on your actions. I got tripped up on the Explorer because I was looking at the iconography. I should just read this. It's draw two, keep a card, or draw three, keep two, or draw seven, keep one. Um, so everything you need to know is here. You go in phase order. Pretty simple. Um, so there you go. So that is how you play, kind of, quick and dirty, Race for the Galaxy. Again, if you want to see our full review, you can click the link in the video description. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And as always, keep gaming. Mm -hmm.